Do you want a way to quickly be able to work out how quickly your money is going to double? If you do, then the rule of 72 is exactly what you're looking for. You see, I found in my investing career that it's very handy to be able to work out how quickly your money will grow when you look at certain investing opportunities. For example, let's say I asked you, how quickly would your money grow at 8% every year? Now, if you're like most people, 8% doesn't seem like a lot of money. In fact, a lot of you know, friends and family have often told me, what's the point of investing if, if all you're actually going to do or all you're actually going to make is 8%. But that's the thing guys, because of the power of compound interest, and I've made a video about this in the past, so I should link it uh, somewhere in this frame. With the power of compound interest, 8% a year, okay, and actually using the rule of 72, which I'll go into in a minute, you can actually very quickly work out that your money would grow and it would double in nine years. And once you know that, once you know that in nine years, that money is going to double, then you can very quickly work out that, you know, if it takes nine years to double, then in 18 years, it will quadruple. And then you, know, you keep adding nines, you keep adding nine years because every nine years is gonna double, right? So you're gonna double, quadruple, a tuple. I don't know how that's called, okay? Times eight, all right? The point is, guys, it's very handy to know how quickly your money is going to double. And that's exactly what the rule of 72 is for. So that's what you're going to learn in this video, guys, how to quickly work out, uh, you know, how quickly your money is going to double using the rule of 72. But that's not all, guys. If you stay till the very end of the video, so that's going to be in, I don't know, four or five minutes from now, I'm actually going to reveal one investment that I have personally made, okay, with my own money that I expect should double my money in the next five years, okay? And after that, every five years, I expect this investment to double my money, okay? That'll be right at the end, but first, let's get into what the rule of 72 is, okay? Let's go. How's it going guys? My name is Ricardo Torres and I'm a dividend growth investor. I love everything to do with money, investing, okay? And that's what this channel is about. So if you're new here, guys, please consider subscribing. I release these videos every single week. At least that's what I've been doing over the last few weeks. Okay, I've been quite good at it. Um, you know, give this video a like if you're enjoying it as well. So the other day there I was browsing YouTube like you're probably doing right now. And I fell down a rabbit hole of YouTube videos. You know the kind. You start looking at, I don't know, tiger documentaries. And before you know it, you're looking at a guy woodworking a boat or something crazy like that, right? Well, it was one of these rabbit holes. And eventually it led me to watching an entire hour long um, Warren Buffett speech, okay? I say speech. It's, uh, you know, he does them every single year at the Berkshire Hathaway uh, investors meetings. These are incredible, by the way, guys. If you ever have like, I don't know, 30 minutes to spare, I recommend you watch one of these. It basically lets you get into the mind of, of Warren Buffett, who's possibly the best investor that's ever lived, okay? At least it, definitely in our times. And you can just learn, you know, his expertise. I mean, this guy has grown an incredible, incredible fortune. He's now one of the world's richest people. And it didn't start with that much money. In fact, the man has grown his wealth from $6,000 at the age of 15 to a ridiculous 83 billion by the age of 89, which is last year. So in this speech, he was talking about how he reckons that Aesop, you know, from Aesop's fables, was the world's first investor. Because you know the famous phrase, a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. Warren Buffett reckons that's actually the first investing quote, and that the two things that Aesop didn't mention was A, how many birds were behind the bush, and B, how quickly you would go from one bird to two birds, okay? If he had those things, he would it would be a really good investing quote. And then he carried on. He said, you know, if it's gonna take him 10 years to go from one bird to two birds, then the rate of return is 7.2% a year. And I heard that and I was like, wow, this guy's incredible. He's in his 80s and he's able to do this really quick mental arithmetic. So I was very impressed. But then I realized that he was cheating. All he did was simply memorize the rule of 72, which is what I'm gonna tell you about right now. Okay, so this is the rule of 72. It is simply the number of years after which your money will double is equal to 72, just the number 72, divided by your expected yearly rate of return. For example, let's say that you've got an investment and you wanna work out how quickly your money will double if it grows by 10% a year. Well, you simply divide 72 by 10 to get that 7.2 years, okay? It's as simple as that, guys. Now, the best thing about the rule of 72 and why it's so popular and why I've got it memorized 
is that the number 72 is actually divisible by two, three, four, six, and nine, okay? That's why you get very even results when you use the rule of 72, as you should see on your screen right now. That's the reason why if you tell me, hey, my investments uh, are going to grow at 3% a year, then I can very quickly tell you, okay, in 24 years, you will have to double your money. Or perhaps, hey, my investments, I expect them to grow at 9% every year. So I can quickly tell you, yeah, eight years, every eight years, they should double. That's just how simple and how powerful the rule of 72 is, guys. You should really memorize it, okay? I'm gonna put the, the results on your screen again, just so you have it in place. So that's basically what Warren Buffett was doing, guys. And you know, if, if you wanna go to a party and impress everyone, this is what you should do as well. But let me now go one step further. Let me tell you about the rule of 69.3. This is not made up, I know it sounds made up, but it's actually a more accurate version of the rule of 72. Because like I said, the rule of 72 is pretty accurate, but once you start going past, you know, 12% or 15% a year, um, you know, growth rate, it starts to vary a little bit more than it should. That's why a lot of investors actually prefer to use the rule of 69.3. Obviously, if you're going to be using the rule of 69.3, you're going to have to need to use a calculator or at least your phone, okay? It's not as simple as just memorizing a few numbers and using the rule of 72. But then again, like I said, up until around 12%, the rule of 72 is actually pretty accurate. And if you know of an asset that's gonna give you more than 12% a year, I wanna know what it is, okay? Because I will probably be investing in it. So let me know in the comments below if you, if you know of anything that grows your money that quickly. There's not that many things in the world, okay? Apart from some stocks that can do that. But anyway, if you know what it is, let me know. Now, earlier in the video, I promised that I would reveal one investment that I have personally been making that I expect is going to double my money every five years. And I know that sounds crazy, but just scare me out, okay? I'm gonna prove, I wanna back everything that I'm saying up. So the reason that I'm saying that I expect it to double every five years is because I've worked out that this stock should give me an annual return of 14%. Now, if you use the rule of 72, that comes out to 5.1 years for it to double. And then if we use the more accurate rule of 69.3, that's only 4.95 years for that money to double, which is pretty crazy. Now, I'm just gonna tell you what stock it is, but before that, hey, if you're enjoying this video, please give it a like. I put a lot of effort into these videos and it's the best way that you can support my channel. And then one last thing, okay, just a little disclaimer. I am not a, a, an investing professional, all right? Uh, I mean, this is what I do for work, but I'm not licensed, okay? I'm not telling you to buy this stock at all. Always, you have to promise to do your own due diligence. So if that's okay, if you've got that out of the way, I'm gonna tell you that the stock that I have bought is called Parker Hannafin. The ticker symbol is PH. So Parker Hannafin is an industrial company and actually one of the members of the Dividend Kings. That is companies in the American market that have been increasing the dividends nonstop for 50 years or more. And in fact, Parker Hannafin has been doing so for 63 years straight, okay? That, that doesn't mean that they stopped one year and then carried on or they cut it one year, no, 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 no. It means they've kept growing that dividend every single year without fail for 63 years. Just to put this into perspective, there's only four other companies in the, in the whole American market, in the thousands of companies in the American market, and I'm pretty sure in the world, that have a longer dividend growth streak than Parker Hannafin, okay? So, so just let that sink in for a minute. It should really tell you what a high quality company Parker Hannafin is. So at the time that I'm recording this video, if you went out and bought Parker Hannafin, you would get a dividend yield of 2.4%. However, I bought this back in the, the big coronavirus market crash, okay? Uh, hopefully, this, is, this was the biggest market crash. Uh, hopefully, there's not a, a ridiculously bigger one but I actually got a dividend yield of 3.2%. So that's my yield on cost, okay? For every $100 that I invested in this company, every year I'm gonna get $3.2. And then the next year it's gonna be more because this company increases its dividends, okay? It's been doing it for the last 63 years. Now the best thing about this company is its dividend growth history, okay? It doesn't just increase its dividends, but over the last few years, it's done so pretty aggressively. In fact, over the last 10 years, its average rate of dividend increases has been 13%. Now, as a rule of thumb, if you add up the dividend yield of a company, of a stock, to the rate at which they grow the dividends, okay, you add those two up, that should give you an estimated rate of return, okay? So in this case, if I add up 
3.2% to 13%. That actually gives me more than 16%. But then again, now I'm not going to go into the details of why this is, but basically if a company is able to grow its dividend at a certain rate, uh, this is this works better for established and you know really established uh, mature companies. But basically, a company cannot just increase its dividends unless it's increasing its earnings by the same rate. Okay, that's been proven many times over very long periods of time. I guess what if a company is able to increase its earnings, its stock price, it it pretty much always follows suit at least in the long run, okay? In the short term, nobody knows what's gonna happen. But in the long run, that's what happens. That's why basically you get in the dividend yield and you're getting that increase in stock prices, that earnings, that, that earnings have actually caused, okay? That's the quick version of why this works. And just to show you what I mean, if you have a look on your screen right now, you can see that Parker Hannifin has grown that dividend by 13% a year, okay? Over the last 10 years, that's fine. But if we actually look at the earnings per share, and like I say, they kind of go hand in hand, it's actually been able to grow its earnings by 14.5%. So, you know, the, the stock price should have gone up by that amount per year, okay, on average. So basically, if you went out there today and bought Parker Hannafin, again, I'm not recommending that you do it, all right? But if you did, you get 2.4 and you could add 13% to that. So that would actually give you 15.4% a year, okay? Now, it's always better to err on the side of caution when you invest, because you never know what's gonna happen, all right? That's why, you know, perhaps like, don't expect such high growth, just expect a little bit less, okay? So if we get that 15% and we use the rule of 72, that comes out to your money doubling every 4.8 years. But then of course, this is more than 12%, so the more accurate way, the more accurate method to determine this, would be to use the rule of 69.3. And the result it gives you, it's not that far off. It's actually 4.6 years. The point is, this investment, in theory, okay, this is all theoretical, of course, should double your money uh, every five years, more or less. The point is, guys, I don't know if Parker Hannafin is going to continue to do what it's been doing over the last few years. What I know is that my money is in safe hands. They are a great company. And yeah, you know, from my expectations, my money should double every five, maybe six, seven years, which is still very good, okay? It's still extremely good. Now, just one last thing I wanted to say, guys. This is how regular people become wealthy. Regular people like you are like me. This is how people become millionaires. This is how millionaires become billionaires. They consistently invest in, in, in assets, in stocks, whether that's stocks or companies or, or property, it doesn't matter. But the point is that your assets need to double quickly. The, the quicker they double, the quicker they grow every year. Consistently, obviously consistency is a massive thing. You know, it's, it's not just good buying some Bitcoin and, and cashing in, okay? This has to be consistent over many, many decades. That is how real wealth is accumulated. And that's what I talk about in this channel, guys, okay? Investing, personal finance. So yeah, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already because I release these videos every single week. And you know, as you can see, I think they're pretty good. I put in a lot of hours into those videos. So if you enjoyed this one, please consider giving this video a like, just a nice thumbs up, and also subscribing and, and hitting that bell so that you'll be notified every time I release a new video. That's it for me, guys. Just really have a great day. I hope you're staying safe, okay, during this um, coronavirus pandemic. And yeah, have a lovely, lovely day. See you later.